Okay, so the first step I'm gonna do is transfer my files. So what I do is I plug my memory card into my computer. So that's what this is right here. And basically what's gonna come up is all my files. So I'm just gonna pick whichever files I want and I'm going to be dragging it to my external hard drive, which is this right here. It's the Seagate Backup Plus two terabyte portable hard drive. So two terabytes is 2000 gigs. So obviously that's a lot of space and you can use your laptop space up until, you know, the laptop gets full, but videos are very, very large. After a while, it can add up. So I highly recommend getting an external hard drive and it just makes your life so much easier. So in addition to transferring my files to my external hard drive, I'm also gonna download my audio. So I use the voice memos app in my iPhone and then I just email it to myself and download it to my computer. So once I have those, I open up my editing software, which is Final Cut Pro. First of all, Final Cut Pro is, there's a learning curve to it. It's not an easy software to use at first. However, once you learn, it's really easy to use. So basically what you do is first, you're gonna go to File, New, and you're gonna create a new event. I'll just put editing. This is not, I'm not gonna be uploading this video. This is just an example but let's just make it editing and library YouTube. So what I'm gonna do next is import my files. So I just clicked import right there and I'm going to go to my external hard drive where my files are stored. So as you can see, this is my video. And as you can see, it has its own audio with it. So as you could just hear now, that is the audio with the camera, like just the external mic that's on the camera but this is the audio that I use with my microphone. And basically what you do is you drag and drop both of them. So after I have downloaded all of my files into Final Cut Pro, the next step is to sync up my audio. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically you want to zoom in and go to the beginning. And you're basically gonna try and look for audio that is alike. The easiest way to do this is to clap. So I should have clapped in the video with the microphone on and then that would make it so much easier. But in case you're like me and you kind of forget to do th important things like that, <laughs> I'll show you how to sync it up. So this is the part where I actually start talking right here, where I'll tell you guys, hey. Hey, what's up everybody, it's Glenn. Like that, and, and I try to do my best, and this looks about right, so I'm going to listen to it without the external mic sound. Everybody, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so, and then what I do is I just put the, I think this is called the playhead. I'm not sure. And what I hit is Command B, which is Blade. Or you could also hit the B key on your laptop. And then as you can see, it makes a little blade. And then you could just click. So you could do either of those delete that okay so I have synced up my audio and we are ready to edit okay and so once you're done editing this is what I have as you can see I just have a bunch of cut clips so anywhere I messed up anything like that I have titles yeah and you could just do whatever you want editing is really where you can just run wild with your creativity and just do whatever you want okay so next step is to share the file. So what you're gonna do is file share master file. So this is where you would give it a title. So I'm gonna call it editing for the purposes of this video. And as you can see, it's gonna make it 10 gigs. So it's a lot, but as long as you have the external hard drive, you'll be fine. You don't have to change anything else for editing, for settings rather. I just don't change anything. I just keep it as is. And then I hit next. And then I pick my destination, which is gonna be my external hard drive. And then I'm gonna click save. And so as you can see, this is the percentage. So I'll be back once it is completely shared. Okay, so I am back. And as you can see, the share was successful. So share master file was successful. And once it's done, it'll pop up and you can watch it if you want. The next step is to compress my file. So as you saw previously, the file size is gonna be 10 gigs. However, once it goes through YouTube, it's not gonna keep the quality that I want. My camera shoots HD video and compressing it is gonna make sure that the quality is kept 
all throughout this whole process so once i go to youtube it's going to be an hd video that's basically what i found out about compressing is that it just makes sure that your video is hd so yeah this is probably the most important step so this is apple compressor you basically open the software and you click add file and it's gonna primarily have what you use to upload it so my external hard drive is already set up as you can see at the top is my editing video so I'm gonna hit that and add okay next you're gonna pick what type of compressing you want to do so basically the quality that you want so I'm gonna scroll down you can publish straight to YouTube but I prefer to use these video sharing services um, options and I choose HD 1080p that's more than enough good quality so you click that and you click start batch and there it goes so I will be back once this is all compressed okay so once the video is compressed it's going to leave this active section and it's going to be in the completed section so there it is and the final step is to go into youtube and upload your video select your file to upload so this is the video that i made in final cut pro and then this is the one that is compressed hd 1080p and as you can see just from the difference this was eight gigs and this is less than one gig so as you can see it makes the file size a lot smaller and it's going to make it a lot quicker to upload and it's going to keep that quality. But that is the process that I take to edit and upload my videos to YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.